Yo, what's up, people? It's your boy. I'm Christy Don One, and I am back with another video. Demi Lovato has come under a lot of criticism on social media, particularly on her Quinstagram page. Now, you guys know the reason why I call Instagram Quinstagram is because it satisfies the thirst of the thirsty, messy people. But anywho, Demi Lovato is promoting uh, detox tea, and the detox tea is called Tima Blend. Now, Tima Blend is supposed to be this detox uh, tea that uh, cures bloating in your body, and it also detoxes your system, all right? Now, Demi Lovato is also challenging her followers the 30-day detox challenge. Now, her followers, if they accept this challenge, will get a 20% discount when they purchase this detox tea. Now, this detox tea has come under a lot of criticism, particularly the Food and Drug Administration. There are some health officials out there that says if you continue using this tea, it irritates your colon, all right? Now, a lot of her subscribers, her fans, her followers have been criticizing Demi Lovato not only about this tea, but also her recent battle with her eating disorder, okay? Now, let me chime in my two points, all right? Now, uh, yes, detox tea or a detox drink can cure bloating and you can lose weight by using these products but uh to get the full effect on losing weight and being fit you still have to require the two elements well the three elements in order for you to lose weight one you have to have plenty of sleep two you have to eat uh within the guidelines of a, I hate to say this word, a diet. A lot of people do not like the word diet because they feel like the diet means you have to subtract something. Diet only means eating the right things that are good for you and your body and exercise, all right? If you do not have those three elements going on when you're trying to lose weight or just simply trying to get in a physical condition, then it's not going to work. Now, detox tea is one aspect of trying to lose weight, but it's not the end all, be all, all right? Now, two, uh, I hope people out there watching this video understands the importance of knowing what you're putting in your body, all right? Not just reading what it says on the front of the product, but what the ingredients are on the back of the product. And it really doesn't hurt taking these products to your position to see whether or not this product may be good for you. All right. So people have to educate themselves. Google is your friend. Believe it or not, Google is a very, very dear friend to you. And you should use this before trying out any type of product, trying out any type of diet or exercise plan, you kind of want to take this to your uh, position, to, physician to see whether or not uh, this product is for you. Another thing a lot of people fail to do, uh, and they fail to do this daily, is to see whether or not if these products are regulated by the Food and Drug Administration. This is very important if you want to lose weight or if you want to be in prem uh, fit condition, okay? Not a lot of things are good for you, okay? If you're adding weight, there is certain types of protein shakes that are out on the market that is bad for you. It has plenty of cholesterol, and if you do not read the ingredients on the back of these products, you're gonna be taking something and it may cure one aspect of what you're looking for, but it's also going to add and attract more aspects that you're not looking for. More cholesterol means it's bad for your heart, all right? So there are a lot of protein powders and shakes 
people have to educate themselves on. Now, when it comes to these detox tea, I know a lot of these Instagram models like to promote these teas and 90% of these detox teas that they promote on Instagram can run health risks if you continue using them every day, all right? The one thing I have, I don't have a huge problem with anybody on Instagram or Twitter, Facebook, wherever the case may be. It can be a reality star. It can be a movie star. It can be a porn star. I really don't care what your nationality is. If you're going to promote these products, you should promote the product. If you really care about your fans, you should tell your fans the good and the bad about these products. And not only that, what other things that you're doing to make you look that good. A lot of these uh, celebrities out there, uh, they really put the work in. They go to the gym, they watch what they eat, this, that, and the third. But then you have a lot of celebrities out there that may take shortcuts like surgery, all right? And uh, take products that, uh, like this detox tea, that yes, you're losing weight, but what else are you sacrificing to lose that weight? So I understand why there is a huge backlash on Dem Demi Lovato. If you're taking that point, if you're taking that side of the issue, but however, uh, as far as her eating disorder, um, she really has stepped it up on that battle, okay? Um, you know, Demi Lovato uh, looks very healthy and very well. Uh, nine times out of ten, she's probably got a trainer, a position that's all that's all in on trying to make her the best person that she can possibly be. It's okay to sell these products, but if you care about your subscriber base, if you care about your followers, if you care about your family, you should tell the good and the bad on every product that you're promoting okay but guys tell me what you think out there rate comment subscribe it's your boy i'm chris the down one you name me